So my name is Benedict Chen and uh, I am the CTO at BitGo. BitGo has been around since 2013. We are a wallet platform and financial services company and we started then back then with uh, you know pioneering one of the first Bitcoin multi-sig web wallets and uh, what that does is you know it's better for security because instead of requiring just one key at a time where you know there were a lot of thefts you needed two or three keys to transact and over over the years we found that the people that really like to use that are, are companies that want to store large amounts of, of Bitcoin and starting at the start of last year we saw a big move towards other blockchains as well as Bitcoin so we started to support those and so the companies that started to use BitGo for security then started to use us for scalability as well and you know they make lots of transactions through BitGo we do more than 10 billion a month I think up to 30 billion depending on the volatility of the markets and transactions and about 10% of the Bitcoin network is going through our platform and uh, we also do Ethereum and Ripple and Litecoin and so what a lot of the people that use our platform really like is that they connect to the API one time and then they can access all these digital currencies and it's easy for them. This year we've also started moving into financial services so as we see you know the traditional finance and mainstream people come in one interesting thing is that they do, they're not the best at keeping keys or you know knowing too much about cryptocurrency right now and so we're adding other services like custodianship so a big problem is you know you have a large amount of money how do you store it and in the past people store like to store it themselves now it's worth a lot and maybe you're a mainstream investor or at least that's the people that we're seeing come come in then it's really important that you you know, so it's somewhere safe and a lot of people are, are looking for people to trust. So that's the, the space that we're trying to get, you know, service at the moment. I think that in the future, once we have the confidence of everyone in the mainstream, I think that's what everyone wants, you know, we're all building really interesting applications and software and companies. And right now, the space is still, you know, it's growing, but it's still small. But, you know, what we want is the mainstream to come in and for them to gain trust in this. And then after that, you know, for a start, they'll, they'll, many of them are going to say, oh, I just want to buy and hold. And then after that, more of them are going to be saying, you know, I want to lend it out or I want to stake. And then we can then start teaching them about all the interesting parts about what, what the blockchain can do, like with smart money. And, you know, maybe next time you can tell people you can use your money to vote on the future of a project. And, and then they'll get even more interested in that. Or you can use it for auctions or you can use it for other purposes. And that's the long-term vision that we're going up the financial services stack. I think we're still very, very early on. I think that for me right now, it feels like we're in the you know late 1990s, where people are really interested about it, and they're coming in and they're saying, you know, I want to participate in this, and maybe I want to you know speculate a little bit, but they don't really fully understand the technology yet, and so some of them you know maybe doing certain things that you know are great or not so great, and and only time will, will, will teach the, the mainstream there. But it's also, when you think about it, many of the projects that are currently out or going to be out are still early. You know, we have challenges with scalability, with uh, how to make a stable coin, and how to, how to know about identity. And I, I think that all those problems need to be quite definitively solved before we can see that the mainstream is happy to come in and comfortable to come into this space. Until then, I mean, maybe it's going to start with like just token value first and assetization. For, for a start. But that in itself is also already a killer app for the blockchain. Thank you very much for your time.